is Johnny O News, and I'll be playing some more Project Zomboid today. So, uh, Victor Adams has been alive for, or he has survived for two months now. Uh, he's killed 1,700 uh, zombies, 1,722 to be exact. And uh, his weight is at 95.09. In the last episode, we finished up all the building that I like to do with this particular base. So we finished the wall, we did a little airlock, we have a little tower thingy here that uh, allows us to, you know, use these ropes if we need them. Uh, we also, I think we finished, let me double check, yeah, it looks like it's finished. We finished our little carrot house. Does carrots go under roof? Apparently was uh, something funny I said. So yeah, we got um, our little carrot farm in here. So, um, I had started putting a bunch of sand down to kind of deviate, you know, what's crops and what's not. Uh, and I'm not happy with it being not done. So I wanted to start a little early today. Started an extra hour earlier. And I'm going to do a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of hauling sand. Which is not the most exciting thing to watch, I would imagine. So, I'm going to do this for uh, up to an hour. And I'll try to throw an annotation down. Um... On YouTube so that we can skip this part but uh, I'm gonna be doing yeah just digging some sand and hauling it back and dropping it on the ground so uh, if you want to come back at 4 p.m. please feel so inclined to do so but uh, really all I'm gonna be doing is going north digging some sand bringing it back for at least an hour uh, if it lasts longer than an hour God help me um, if it lasts longer than an hour I will stop doing the sand and then get back into the normal uh, playing of the game, you know, looting, killing zombies, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy and uh, do a little bit of walking over to the uh, baseball diamond that's over here. And I'm going to be digging all the sand there and then bringing it back to lay around my uh, crop field. So it looks decent because my OCD requires it to look clean and happy and nice. Probably get a little bit more sprinting skill in as well almost to level three which is going to be really nice for when we want to make that trip over to um, over to west point oh we got some zombies over here all right we got a little bit of fighting that's cool what's this shovel they picked a shovel instead of my hammer my primary weapon okay cool let's kill off some zombies to start the day Nice little exercise. Then we'll start digging some sand for even more exercise. Alright, who looks like he's the fastest? I think the guy in the dark gray is the fastest. Gonna take you down, buddy. Ooh, one shot kill. Amazing balls. Alright, those are the first three zombies for the day. I'm going to dig up all the sand, probably. Because that farm is not small. Time that correctly. There we go. Oh, another standing kill. So good. Come on, guys. One of you guys have to have, to have a, another axe for me, right? No? Alright, fine. 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 All right, so we have to be really careful with this digging stuff. I was really kind of playing it really fast in the last stream where I was speeding time up every time I dug and I gotta be really careful. Don't want to lose this character. All right, just gonna pick up all this sand. I don't know if we'll even have enough in this area. I think there's like yeah, there's a baseball diamond over here. Got some zombies up there too. May want to go and kill them. So as soon as we're filled with sand here bags of sand are going to be very, very heavy. We already are extremely heavy. And you don't really want to fight uh, you really don't want to fight zombies when you're completely filled. Not a good idea. I'm just gonna be digging some sand. 
A lot of people have been asking me about, you know, doing the song request thing, and a lot of the games that I play requires you to be able to listen for stuff. So I'm not 100 sure I want to play music while I'm playing games like Project Zomboid or Dead by Daylight or anything like that. So I apologize. I'm old. My hearing's bad. So is my attention span. If I don't hear anything, then I'm basically going to ignore the game. Alright. Sand. None of the uh, sandbags are full yet. There we go. Starting to reduce in number a little bit. Keep an eye out for the zombies that are up there. Because if they head this way, I'm definitely going to have to drop them all and then kill the zombies and pick them all back up. I'm going to have a long trek back. Super slow. It's going to reduce, or it's going to make my character tired, but it's also going to add a little bit to my strength skill. Which is slowly going up. 3577. See if I gain a good amount from doing this sort of thing. Thirty-five seventy-seven. Seem to be getting any strength from just digging. I really could get these higher. It's really nice to get them higher. So much work for just a small little area. like we're full and now the walk back there we go this is where we yeah you start to see a little bit of increase there if i waggle the mouse it will update in real time if you leave the mouse there it doesn't update but as soon as you move it it will update yeah so you can see that we're getting like one 1.4 points right there do 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 waggle 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 Waggly, waggly. Yeah, there's another 1.4. So yeah, 1.4 every like 10 seconds or so, which is not a lot, but hey, it adds up over time, right? All right. Yeah, it starts, it's adding up pretty well. Pretty good. Hope I got. I've got like four or five trips of this to do. Quite painful. That's okay. Yeah, sprinting level four is great, but sprinting level three is fine. I think I think I ran for like maybe a whole month in game to get sprinting level four. Sprinting is very difficult to bring up. Especially without any modifiers on it, like I like the way I this character has. Now nimble and light footed. These are going up pretty nicely with the modifiers they have. They both uh, light footed has seventy five percent, and nimble has a hundred percent. And if, yep, I even have some on sneaking too. So this character is going to be like a pretty awesome stealth character by the time he's done gonna be really nice. I don't normally go stealth, I normally just go full combat. Uh, we've got through some pretty sticky situations because of the fact that we had 
decent stealth, as well as like finding zombies that don't even notice me in houses. So I can go into a house and then I'll open the door and there'll be like three zombies ready to do their whole ambush thing. And because they didn't even hear me or see me, then they're just kind of standing there. So I was like, oh, okay. Not scared. All right. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so almost back. <laughs> I should probably sprint. Yeah, let me sprint back. Let's see if I get some sprinting skill from carrying all this sand. Oh, I am getting sprint skill. All right, that's totally worth it. I'll walk there, dig all the sand, then sprint, quote, quote, back. Get some sprint skill from hauling sand. How exciting. Yeah, it's going up. Ever so slightly. I wonder if I'll get fitness from that too. Probably not very much. The funny thing is, is that you don't get a lot of fitness from sprinting. It's mostly from uh, swinging your weapon. So that's why um, when I have a downtime, when I have some downtime, I tend to just sit there and just swing my weapon like a crazy maniac until um, I'm out of stamina and then I'll turn up speed. So he's basically sitting there swinging his axe all day long. And that gives you a good, um, maybe almost a thousand or so uh, fitness per day. Something I'm really going to need to get at some point here. This character gets tired way too fast. Let's put down the sand. And we're going to have to do a little bit of gardening to clear up some of this grass that's here. Good thing is that once you do it once, it doesn't come back. So we may clean it up and then the next day there's going to be a lot more grass. But as soon as each tile has done its whole erosion thing, it goes away. Gotta make it look clean. Looks like these water barrels are ready to go too. If I get bored of uh, 80%, just a little bit more. All right, <laughs> that was one. Looks like it's gonna be like three or four more trips. Let's move this chair a little bit over here. how to rotate it. The hold button and move cursor to rotate. There we go. Easy. Oh. I guess it was placing it. Come on, Johnny. There we go. Yay, a little chair. To rest up our weary bones from digging sand all day long. Probably need to get a smoke in. There we go. Lots of cigarettes. Found a good amount of them at one of the storage facilities. I think it was the one right next to the southern warehouse. Yeah, just sticking sand to keep my OCD in check. Would have driven, driven me nuts if that farm didn't look decent. I will probably want to throw down some cabbages though sometime today and get that farming going and do like a cycle of a couple rows each day I'll probably do two rows to start for level one let me see if i've read the book for it already yep looks like i'm multiplier of three i think i actually actually think one row is enough to get the first level like first level farming is super fast but i'll do two rows that should give me the first two levels and then take you know only plant two today maybe four the next day and then six if i have enough room i think that should be enough i think i have 12 12 rows total and then at that point i have to do like full full swaths of the whole farm to get the next two levels should be no no problem 
right, let's check out the sand situation over here before we start digging. There were some zombies over on this side. Let's see, yeah, let's go kill them first. Let's say hello. And I'm really bummed out that there was a pond added to Moldra in the latest version, uh, 3520G. And because this map was created prior to that release, uh, I guess I don't get it. Please fall down. Thank you. Please have an axe. Oh, butter knife is fine too. Let's do that for a little while. It should kill about 10. Getting that error again. Some of the zombie corpses. Not sure what that's all about. Okay, let's take some sand. Just do a quick perimeter check. See if there's any zombies slowly making their way over here. Oh, there's some over there too. Okay, nope. Just be careful. Not that there is a way to be careful while digging up a bunch of sand. Come on. You can walk. There you go. Once I'm done with the farm, I can start doing some grinding of cooking. And then during that, I should be doing some grinding for trapping as well. So I need to make sure I've got all that skill finished up before winter comes. It's coming relatively soon. I think in two months? I think winter, like like snow everywhere kind of starts in December. It's currently August 7th right now. So I'm not really sure exactly why I'm spending so much time on what is going to be a, a temporary base. But once I get all my cooking and trapping and farming stuff done, I can make a base anywhere. And if I get a forage, a foraging book, or the herbalist book, then I'll be really golden. And then I can really stay away from the chips and the cereals and whatever little mac and cheese I have left. And I'll just be able to forage food right out of the ground. Like berries and mushrooms and crickets and stuff. Couple that with uh, hunting and farming. No problem for food. I do need more cooking pots. Apparently we only have two, so I may have to go and search some of the uh, houses around here and see if we can at least get ten. Just having to boil water often is kind of annoying. So if we have ten of them, you only do it once every month or so. If we're very hungry. Oh, it's already uh, 8 o'clock at night. So it looks like you can really only do two of these a day. It's not too bad. Get some sprinting skill and get some strength from it all. No problem. Bags left to fill up and I can head back. Yeah, four more bags. Got 
my inventory open just in case I get attacked. I'll throw all these down as soon as we uh, get some aggros. Lighting is kind of flickering in this version. I don't think I rec recall seeing that type of thing. It only seems to happen when you're out on the grass. So we started at 35.77, so almost 100 points of strength. Only... <laughs> only... 14,000 to go. Fourteen thousand points. And at a hundred a day. Yeah, my strength isn't going up anytime soon. Okay, this is bad. Let's throw down these bags. Alright, let's where's our hammer? Or we had a butter knife, that's right. Speed time up here. Just in case there's another one we don't see. Alright, I'll speed up time. It takes too long. So if that was a fast shambler, we would have had some problems with that, but the guy was pretty slow. We are considered sprinting, so we're kind of loud as we do this. So I gotta be really careful. It's a lot of danger for so little reward, <laughs> but that's okay. Open this sprint skill goes up. Sprinting is strange because it, it goes up in spurts. Like it goes up. Oh, hey, kid, what's going on? Yeah, I thought I would do uh, like an hour early because I'm kind of doing something really relatively boring. So I've j I'm, I'm about to finish my second run back and forth. I think I've got two more to do. So it shouldn't take a full hour. But um, yeah, it's a good 30 minutes of just me going back and forth with sand. And trying to avoid zombies. But I'm getting a little bit of sprinting skill and a little bit of strength from hauling this stuff. We, th we started at um, 65.77. We're getting about 100 or 200 points of strength every day. Oh yeah, looking a little better. Looking a little better, and I'm hoping that it rains sometime soon too. So that we get these uh, water barrels filled up. But I'll, what I'll probably do is tomorrow morning, I will um, add some cabbages to the first two rows. I know, it's gotta. I mean, even if it's a temporary place, so like, my OCD demands that it look decent. Can't take it. I can't take it if it doesn't look decent. Not that sand makes it look beautiful or anything like that, but it just, at least it makes it look clean. I mean, the whole world is dirty. Might as well have a nice, clean spot in the world. Nice little clean spot. Alright, that's all the sand for today. Gonna have to go, go grab another box of cereal. Let's throw these worms in here because we're eventually gonna need them. Because we're going to be doing some stick traps to get our carpent or our trapping up, but I, I think I can already make the cage trap, so I might as well just start with that. I might 
Might as well start with that. Oh no, here it is. Quine skills trapping three. So I need to at least get the trapping three to be able to... So I gotta start with stick traps, which is great because I think we got a lot of twine. I made sure to pick up a lot of that. All right, so let's see. What was I gonna do? I was going to let's get the cabbage seeds. And I think we just need the watering can. There we go. Watering cans are very heavy for some reason. Must be gigantic. That's a lot of watering cans though. Maybe a little too much, but it'd be nice not to have to keep going filling from the from the barrels. It's nice to store the water in two different places. Pulling an all-nighter here. Don't want to do that. That's not good for your health. If uh, me streaming like constantly is uh, good enough evidence. All right, let's open up these packages. Let's open up these packages. There we go. And start sewing some kabajas. Let's do two rows right now. And then for the next day, we'll do four rows. It gives us a whole, whole day to read the next farming book that we may or may not have. Alright, put all these back into packages. And, um, how many watering cans did we use? I haven't used any yet. Didn't water yet. Wish there was just a button that, that you can do the last thing that you did. Like Ultima Online had that. It's like redo last last action. Rather than having to navigate through this whole thing. Right, let's fill up the water in case it rains. Empty now. Should even out the distribution of the water I'm taking. I'm kind of uh, rolling with fewer barrels than I normally do. But I haven't found that many garbage bags, so I don't really want to uh, waste all that. I might want to make this box a little closer. Not liking how this feels right now. It's full. Yeah, it, it does need a little bit of work. Like these lists are getting kind of long now, and the the tiering in between everything it seems kind of like kind of like a pain. Because um, what I really like is when you drop the sand, it gives you the option of just you know clicking, and that whole thing is really fast, but. Like having to click, right click, click again for each action. Oh god, I uh, filled my water bottle with tainted water. I was wondering, though, I, I knew there was one extra action. Like, where did the, why is this uh, watering can not filled up? Alright, so this sink is done. There's a bathroom down here. Yeah. Okay, the sink done too. Really? I don't know. Okay. It's got a couple more units of water left in it. Up we go. And let's get some sleep. Still trying to lose that weight. So we're not going to eat until tomorrow. All that weight drop from being hungry all day long. Falling like a rock. Wow, looks like my sleep schedule. 
All right, let's eat some food for today. Eat a whole box of cereal. That sounds really healthy. And a bag of chips. Even healthier. And to top off the healthiness, we're going to get a smoke. There we go. All right. So these kabajas are doing what we need them to do. They're well watered. Perfect. All right, let's get the shovel back in our inventory. And it looks like we got to do maybe two more runs of the sand. So maybe I didn't need a whole hour, but a little half an hour. I know. Box of cereal with which bag of chips. Some fritos to go with your Cheerios. Oh. Then soon we're only going to be eating cabbages for a while. Then that's when we'll really lose weight. The weight's going to drop like, like maybe one or two kilos a day. It's like, oh god, need that protein. Need that protein now. Good thing is we only have to get to like three trapping. That's not going to be too hard with the modifier as well as the books. I think I already read it. Yeah. Oh, no. I didn't finish reading it. My multiplier is only 0.6. Where did that come from? It's not really loud being so far away. Do some butter knife action here. Poor man screaming in the distance. Sounds like it was coming from the southwest. Push this guy down. Knife that one. Stompy, stompy that one. And there we go. That pack is kaput. Alright. Get that, get that sand. Get that sand. Be really nice to find the, the uh, carpentry book so we can finish off that last point of carpentry. That way we can keep our axes and good repair. Because if you have maximum carpentry, you add 90% to a damaged uh, wood based item. So that basically means uh, a full tube of wood glue is like two and a half axes. At least for the first. For the first uh, repair. Do a quick perimeter look. There was a pack up here to the north, but they seem to have gone. Shouldn't speed up the time, but a bad idea. Still do it anyways. Let's get some more sand. <clears throat> A lot more sand. Gonna have to actually go to the baseball diamond. Some more sand. Oh, oh. Some dirt? No. Sand. Sand, please. Thank you. Sleeping schedule is finally fixed. 
but now I'm sleepy all day. Like my body's going, you are nocturnal. You must sleep during the day and stay awake at night. So I don't normally drink coffee, but I drink some coffee. Hopefully that helps. Do some more risky stuff. Keep me alive and awake and active. Starting to feel like um, starting to feel like uh, seven days to die. When Zade's like, could you go out and get ten thousand sand for me? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll go do that. I live to serve and dig sand. Apparently, you need a lot of sand for concrete in that game. See how we're doing. Okie doke. Let's go. We're starting at 269 on oh, sprinting. Let's see how much sprint skill we get. We're hauling stuff. Seems to want to auto switch to the shovel as if that's a good weapon. It's not. Terrible. I know, isn't that crazy? Like, when it's nighttime, I'm like, boom, I got no problem staying awake. During the day, it feels so sluggish. Ugh. I'm not bored or anything. I love me some Project Zomboid, but at the same time, it's like... It doesn't help. I'm coupled with sleepiness. I have played a lot of Project Software, that's for sure. <laughs> Gotten two points of sprint. Yeah, sprinting goes down so slowly when you're this slow. Like the game lulls you to sleep a little bit and then kills you. It's like, damn you game, made me complacent. Made me complacent, game. It's apparently the cell that you inhabit when it does a heartbeat check to see how many zombies are around the map. Uh, the cell that you're currently inhabiting uh, will not respawn with zombies in hopes that if you build like a really nice big base, that uh, like zombies don't appear inside your base. Kind of nice. At the same time, if you're just kind of hanging out in the one place. Yeah, I know exactly. It's like, oh, I, I'm feeling confident. And then, yeah, you die. Like, yeah, I can I can knife like no problem. I can kill a hundred zombies with a with a hunting knife. And then just one one little bite, one little bite. And your game is over. Or little one little fall down the stairs. It's over. Kind of like um, the longest dark almost. It's been getting crazy with the wolves though. I really enjoy killing wolves every friggin' day. I rather like play the game against the elements rather than this army of respawning wolves. I mean, wolves are pretty easy to deal with, and in Longest Dark, you just throw a little bit of meat down. And you back up, and you shoot it in the face with uh, your bow and arrow. It's annoying. It's kind of like the forest, where killing the cannibals and stuff like that, it's not hard. It just takes up a lot of time. You're like, I want to build my log cabin. Yeah, I think one more pass at the uh, the sand, and we should be done. Then again, we may have to do the um, may have to do the carrot farm as well. I wonder if my OCD will allow me to not have to do the carrot farm. Doesn't seem like it's that much space, anyways. Okay, doke. Let's sleep earlier. And then in the morning, we'll do another four columns of, or four rows of cabbages. 
The days are going faster now. Oh, he uh, didn't sleep very well. Let's take some pills. I leave my uh, sleeping pills. And this time I'll only take one. Yeah, it's because zombies are familiar almost. Long Dark is uh, definitely interesting. Let's take one pill. The two last time we slept like forever. There's my anxiousness. Yeah, I'm not really sure the devs know what they're doing with the Longest Dark right now. Like, they did just add skills and whatnot. But it's, it's like... They're deathly afraid of everyone saying that their game is boring. And to tell you the truth, survival games are kind of supposed to be boring. Because that's that's part of survival. Like they added this like this thing where you get cabin fever and everything like that. It's like, okay. I'm like trying to gamify the boredom, I guess. So that's interesting. Um, I like how Project Zomboy does it. Like, if you go to do something exciting, you're, like, peppy again. Alright. So let's go ahead and do our planting. For the day. Open up our packet. And let's do some cabbages. Yeah, like this right here would be so nice if I just said place cabbages and then I get like an overlay and I can just cl click on each of these squares rather than right click, click, right click, navigate, click. Same thing with cooking. It drives me nuts. It's with the music. I have like a big horde coming this way. Sometimes it doesn't even, doesn't even do anything when you right click. Yeah, I mean the moods in the game are are okay. I mean they're obviously pretty gamey, kind of like The Sims. But there really isn't any detriment to being really sad. It's just your actions take a little bit longer. All of the negatives in the longest dark are just like so damning. It's like, oh god. Let's do some more watering. It looks like it rained. Those those barrels look like they filled up a little bit. Watering the crops. So much fun. Yeah, this is the part of the game that I kind of dread. Which is the, the before winter grind. I think we're, we're really now at the point that uh, Helen Cook was at. My last survivor before we uh, burned ourselves to death. That farm that I made with Helen Cook though was super gigantic. There was like 126 cells worth of farm. It's crazy town. I think I was done with farming in like three or four cycles or something ridiculous. I can't just mouse over anymore. I think it was this one that I stopped at. Let's just check this one.
The way I see it, if the game is going to make you do something boring, it should be really easy to do. Just take time. up a lot. It's unable to go down. Alright, so that's the cycle for today. Let's get grab some food. And then go get one thing of sand. That should at least finish the main farm. Get a smoke. It's already looking better. I like it. I really like this idea of yours. Just let it hang out like that. I like the three little ropes coming off of it. Oh, I can't hit E anymore to climb through. Let's sprint there. See how fast the sprint is. Pretty fast. Yeah, the guy that cheated to have 10 sprinting seriously looked like Sonic. His legs were going so fast, and then he would drift around. Like, he wouldn't stop in place. He would, he would stop and then slide for, like, eight tiles. It's pretty hilarious. And then when he ran through the horde at the mall, like, he just saw this little bump to indicate where he is in the horde. And he was moving so quick quickly that the zombies couldn't grab him in time. another week of uh, Project Zomboid next week. I think I may take a break? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting with this one game a week thing. I kind of like it so far. Because then I don't have to like relearn a game every time I stream. Not that I have to relearn Project Zomboid, but it, I have to get my brain into that state. Nice, nice mixture of other games after the normal stream. I'm really enjoying Dead by Daylight. The game is so tense. I'm playing the... Um... Yeah, I think the, the most I've been able to get my sprinting to without like some shenanigans is level 4. I don't know a lot of people that get it past that. Like five, I tend to get near the end of the game when I've like, been alive for years. But yeah, so far the most I've gotten is five. People have more than five. I mean, something screwy is going on. All of a sudden, he comes back. Oh, I just happen to have ten sprinting. But that guy was pretty blatant about it. He's like, yeah, I cheated this, and I just wanted to see what Sprinting 10 was like, and he was pretty cool about it. Not like he was pretending, and all of a sudden he got a bunch of sprints. You watch that video, but it basically means that you can just run through zombie hordes, no problem. I mean, the zombie horde at the mall is pretty ridiculous. There's nothing bigger than that. Alright, let's head back. Get our butter knife ready for battle. Condition's pretty good, actually. Build like five to six already. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta get back into it. Like, what did I loot? 
Where are the zombies at? Where are the scary places at? Having a transition between games, like, um, I've been doing a lot of Mountain Blade and Project Zomboid. It's like, okay, now I'm moving on to Mountain Blade, you know, which, which lords do I need to make happy? Who do I need to try to recruit? It's, it's tough. It's tough to, like, shift gears in your brain to be able to play multiple games sometimes. Like, for a while there, I think for a whole week, sorry, for a whole month, I was doing three Let's Play episode series at the same time. Project Zomboid, Mountain Blade, and Stranded Deep, and that was really rough. I had to play, you know, I had to record an episode each day. That was back when I was doing my regular Let's Play episodes. But I really enjoy streaming a lot more because people can ask me questions and chat about... God, here we go. I think I'll be able to make it home. I don't know if I should try this while I'm overburdened. Not a great idea. Make sure I can see these bags. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Anybody else? No? Just by yourself, huh? The lonely zombie. Except for the one that's right behind me. No, just kidding. Lonely zombie. The loneliest little zombie in the whole wide world. Yeah, it looks like it is going to take about an hour to get this stuff done. I'm going to have to do the gardening and um, clear out all the grass. So yeah, welcome to the boring hour. <laughs> That's okay. We'll have plenty of boring later when we do cooking grinding. That's the worst. Just me clicking on frying pans. Forever, ever, ever. We got to be done with the skill grinding this month. Must be done. That's for the first month is really fun because it's all like fresh loot. And then it's like, okay, now there's nothing left. I've taken everything. But at least there's a whole new town now. That's insane. Insane. It's boring though if there's no zombies. Hopefully they add a quick fix to the uh, that area and make it urban. The zombies redistribute over in that area. It doesn't seem like something that would be too hard. What do I know about coding? I'm just a product manager. All right, so the whole farm is done. Let's see how much more sand we need for the carrot room. And I think we may need one more pass at the sand. Those carrots go under roof. Clean this place up too. Yeah, looks like one, at least one more pass. Wouldn't be too bad. All right, sleep, and then. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the 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 calm moments kind of counteract the. Oh my god, an NPC noise just brought every zombie down on top of my base, and it's getting ruined. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Seen a couple streamers where that's happened to them and they just quit. I'm like, what? That's part of the fun. Like, you can't just be safe all the time. You can't be safe forever. That'd be that'd be really boring. It is really possible to be safe forever though. If you do it right. And it's not that hard to do it right either. Basically just build on top of a building. There's a lots of buildings where they have a really flat roof, like, um, for instance, the, um, the kindergarten off of Main Street. You could easily make that into a super gigantic base where you'll never be touched by zombies ever, ever again. All right, let's get some food, get a smoke, and do the rest of the farm. Where am I going? I have food. That's where I was going. 
Here's some zombies, or the wind. Just the wind. Just the wind, Johnny. Yeah. I love games that balance that out really nicely. Like, the forest, it feels like you're always in danger. There's always something going on. I'm like, oh god, there's another pack of, like, 50 guys that are coming. Let's do the farming first. I really wanted to get some extra streaming time in today. Oh yeah, no, I I I couldn't I couldn't play the game very long if I didn't do the multiple multiple places. I think I would go mad if I, I did what most people do and just make one big place and just live there forever. I, li I like to try to loot everything in the game. Like, every place needs to be looted. And the other thing I do that drives me nuts because my, my short-term memory is not so good is I'll do, like, passes, priority passes, like like what we found out with the, the shovel. Like, there's been so many times that we've seen a shovel and I didn't pick it up because I was like, oh, I probably have one, or I'm not prioritizing that right now, it's too heavy. So, I mean, there's still plenty to loot at all the places that we've already been at. Just there's, I've done, like, little layers of priority. Like, oh, first off, it's weapons and, and, and bags and, and water. Then it's books and maybe some, like, you know, chips and cereal and whatnot. And then I go back for all the other stuff, like the cooking utensils, like frying pans and cooking pots. So those things are heavy. You need to have like two bags if you're going to be collecting a bunch of it. Alright, this should, should be good for the first six levels of farming. Where farming will become a lot easier at that point. All you have to do is mouse over stuff and it just tells you all the information you need. The um the safe house methodology that I use too is also adds adds to the fun a bit too, where you start to venture out way further than you normally would. So you get into those situations where you're stuck at night somewhere and you gotta somehow get back home and or get back to your safe or your little outpost. Keeps things interesting. Like sometimes like you're like, oh, I don't really want to go out because I gotta go so far and I'm never gonna get home in time and blah blah blah. So having those little outposts makes that possible. And then you make outposts that are just there to um, to lessen the time that it takes to travel. Like in my nutrition testing guy, I uh, built on the east side of the wall that's near the um, the railroads. So all I did was I built an outpost that went right over the wall so that I wouldn't have to go around the wall anymore where a lot of uh, zombies tended to bunch up. All right, so this is the one I need to water next. One, two, three, a third row, third down. Okay, I remember that. Looks like we may be in a position now where we have to uh, use what little cooking pots we have left. We're going to run out of water with all this kind of hanging about in this area. Let's see, we're at 20% on that barrel. 39% on that barrel. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I guess I just finished it, yeah. Oh, now I'm five off on each one. That's a lot. Ooh, please tell me it's raining. Yay, rain. Beautiful rain. The good thing about that rain is that it basically, um, well, now it's five points the wrong way. That's okay. I 
think I might actually use my water bottle to, to water some of the crops. That's all right. Rain, stay here. Fill my beautiful water bottle. My barrels of water. Don't leave rain. This is not California where the rain turns on for two minutes and then goes away. Oh, it's too bad. all of these there we go finish up the last of the crops all right our first full cycle of farming is done. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's so much less work. Thank you, Rain. But yeah, the outdoorsman trait really um, makes Rain into not that much of a factor, other than the fact that it's still slowing you down. Oh, we just had enough seeds, too. Awesome. That was like the perfect amount. And I had enough water. All's looking good. Get ourselves another bottle of water. Don't die from dehydration. I really feel like that's that uh, anxiety thing is coming up a little bit more often. I wonder if you smoke more that you need more because I know that's what my problem is <laughs> all right one more pass at the sand and then we'll be done then we got to do all of the gardening related activities and then we'll be back at the normal gameplay style that you're used to I'm through Look how fast that feels. It's going to be even way faster when we hit level 4. Or level 3, I mean. Yeah, it looks like his legs are moving faster than they should. And this is with him still being overweight. As soon as overweight goes away, that means uh, he'll be even faster. not to become complacent. Complacency is the killer. Speeding up time every time I dig is not the smartest thing to do. Do not try this at home. Especially when you're near trees. Who knows what will come out of there.
little sand there is left up here, and that should be enough to fill up all of our bags. Sand digging is done, and it's hour and six minutes. But I did do some stuff in between. Would have been an hour if I just did sand and not farming, but efficiency! Efficiency needed. Yeah, I'm hoping that the three rain barrels is going to be enough. I don't want to waste any more. I can build five more, but I'm going to be moving those or just I might just let them go. I might build a fourth. We'll see. Sprinting almost there. Almost there. Oh, so close. 20 points. We were at 50 points earlier, so we might get it. Hall of sand. Then not gonna need to haul sand no more. We do some hunting or trapping. What we really need to do as well before winter hits. Hey, what's up, dank memes? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, really? You tried using these traits? Oh, man, it's tough. Having so little endurance and so little strength is is tough. It is very tough. Like you really have to pace each of your days out. And try not to get exhausted too quickly while you're out. Well, that's his. That was his name on uh, YouTube. I always remember the first name you hate. You guys used. Like it was so frustrating on YouTube, where like everyone, I'm wor I'm even worse than yesterday. Why? Because I've been doing sand for the last hour. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of doing sand. Alright, the farm is all planted, except for the carrots. I don't want, I don't want to do the carrots just yet. Until we've got the uh, the uh, rabbit traps ready to go. Which we're going to have to wait anyways. For us to be done with the stick traps. We have enough twine, which I think I do. I think I've gathered twine. Business math homework? That's not hard. What's the difference between profit and revenue? Like the only question everyone asks. Don't you mean don't you mean revenue? Alright, pour out some sand. Like what what kind of stuff are you going over in that class? You going for your MBA at all? That's like needed for almost everything. Oh. Discounts. Interesting. 
All right. We are done with the sand. Now we gotta pull up all this grass and cut down all these little, little trees. So we're done with the shovel and sack for a while. Got a good number of worms for those stick traps. You have to catch us some birds. All right, now the fun of removing grass. Axe, so we can remove these trees. Get it. Let me fill up my e-sig machine real quick. Oh, so is it like a, it's like a trade school or? It's Masters in Business and Administration. That's what MBA stands for. Is it like trade school related stuff? I actually like that stuff more than a theoretical crap. It's like, you must treat all your employees with respect. Like, whoa, you have to teach this? I want them to feel like they have a purpose in life. <laughs> like, holy crap. This is actually needed to be taught. All right. Time for some more gardening. I can actually relax while I do this. And my MBA classes were just constant partying. So it was just really all just networking. Oh, nice. That's like so that's like real like real world stuff that you need. That's good. Why is it making me do this twice? Get it. Approaching. Approaching my farm. I'm just glad there's not like a huge pile of zombie bodies to have to burn too. There's some outside, but none here yet. Some of these I have to do it like twice or... Oh, I see what it's doing. This is behind the wall. This is what I'm talking about. There's some stuff that's... You can't really click unless you're... Bl inside the wall line. It's all done. Let's go ahead and sleep so we can see what it looks like in the daytime. Get rid of all these twigs and trees and logs. Okay, no big deal. That's cool. Kind of feel like playing killer tonight anyways in Dead by Daylight. Oh god, I forgot. There's no, there's no stairs anymore here. No stairs. That's no problem, man. Alright, let's go sleep starving. There's more weight. It's probably gonna be a bad idea if we're gonna be eating cabbages for a while, but I'm hoping... It's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be 
coming home Saturday night, like late Saturday night, so I may be in the mood to play when I get home, but probably not. Probably be tired from all the driving that we have to do. I have to get my wife a new car. To do all sorts of stuff that requires us to be out and about. Oh, thought I'd just take, take a couple days off. Her lease is up on her car, so I was like, yeah, I'll just buy you a car, I guess. No. No. I get you a game every so often, but that's about it for me. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't want to put, put logs in my, my backpack. That's a bad idea. And we'll take these logs over to the campfire. There's that grass. Can't get rid of it. Can't get rid of those sticks either. It's very annoying. Yeah, seriously. Especially if you live in California. Southern California, to be exact. You shouldn't feel bad about that, man. It's alright. Playing the game with us. It's still fun. Alright, this is where I'm going to start putting all the stuff that I need to um, make fires with. Nice and orderly. For this little thing here that I can't remove, looks beautiful. Easily clickable squares. Uh, I don't think we can throw logs down there. All right, let's clean up the carrot room now. Does carrots go under roof? They do. They do. Most certainly do, Johnny. Most certainly do. So the other thing I'd like to try is what would happen if I built some walls around my traps in hopes to protect my traps from wow some nowhere near where I click see this what I'm talking about anything next to a wall it's just so strange like to know if there's a way to protect your traps from just random zombie hordes that come by. Nice. Very good. Um, let's get rid of some of this grass that's hanging over. Not that I can see it. But still. Anal retentiveness. Yes, I am super anal about cleanliness. The funniest thing is, I'm nowhere near that OCD when it comes to like seven days to die, especially with the organization stuff. Just throw shit in boxes. That's it. All right, three more logs. Goes over to the campfire. 
And then maybe I can prepare the carrot stuff. It's just trowel it. And then uh, we'll get some stick traps made and we'll go deal with traps. Can I drop some logs like right here? Where'd they go? Did they get devoured? Where did they go? Oh, I put some logs inside the, the box is what I did. That's where they went. Range. There we go. Okay, cool. So we got some fuel for the fire to burn ourselves alive with. And then let's get the trowel. And prepare all this stuff. See, this interface here is the one I like the most. So cabbages, click, 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 click. Water, click, 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 click. That'd be so nice compared to right click. Blah. All right. Got some more worms. Now there's a really cool way you can get worms. Here, let's see. Um, yeah, if you just, so you're clicking on here, right? So if you do this, reanimated bit, what's going on, dude? So if I just speed time up, I just click like crazy. I should be getting like a good amount of worms, four, five, six. This is the way that you get tons of worms for either fishing or catching birds. Nothing at all, huh? Did you get Dead by Daylight yet? We're having some fun with Survivor. We played a little bit this morning with uh, Vala, True to Live, True to Life, and uh, Mr. Shin. We're actually all getting a little bit better at surviving. But I was watching the guy stream the killer and I'm like, mm, I feel like playing killer again tonight. If no one's around, I'll play some killer. All right, that was a gunshot or machine gun fire at, uh, I guess, the northeast. Let's go ahead and sleep with some worms in our pocket. That sounds nice. Our weight is almost to 90, which will remove the overweight trait. Soon we're going to have some uh, cabbages growing, so we won't have to eat cereal anymore. Or what else are we going to eat today? Do I have any food in here? Nope. Mac and cheese it is. Let's eat half in hopes that it goes away. Good. Good. I love your, I love your little emoticons. I, I read which ones they're called. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't tell me which. Need space. There you go. DB style. What's DB? Who's DB? I don't know all these emoticons. All right, let's put our worms here. And let's see what we need to make. Uh, tr uh, stick traps. A twine and sturdy sticks. So let's make nine. Nine sound like a good number. And let's see, do we have any... Um... Is this where my store books are? Because that seems like... No, this is where my books are. Okay. Alright, so let's say uh, trapping for beginners. Here it is. Read the rest of this book. Should do it outside so I don't get bored. If you do, um, if you do any action outside for a long period of time, you don't get bored. Just something I learned in my Howard Johnson playthrough. I had no idea. I had no idea that was a thing.
So boredom is directly connected with, or correlated with how much time you're spending indoors. So if you do stuff outside, then you're happy. Now, I don't know if you're agoraphobic, would that cause other problems like anxiety or something like that? But I get this book read. We're out of water again. That's the other thing I need to do. There we go. Trapping's done. So we now have a modifier for trapping for the first two levels, but we only need to actually do one. Which is nice. I think what I was doing was I was throwing either the duplicates or the finished books in here. I think that's what I was doing. Hey, Vermange! How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Alright, let's see if we can get some water. I don't think we have a lot of water left. Alright. So yeah, water is going to be a problem eventually if we stick around here too long. And talking about water, I have to go potty. I'll be right back. Two minutes. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, so we need to go find some cooking pots. That's what we gotta go find. Oh, thanks so much for the follow, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming Project Zomboid until we either get bored of Project Zomboid or Mr. Victor Adams dies a horrific death. But just to let you know, um, I will be out tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday, which is not normal. I normally stream all week, but um, we've got some stuff for the family that needs to be taken care of. Let's just check the water here well watered. That's the only kind of information we're going to get right now until we get some farming skill. Yeah, I know, like reanimated bits like our new version of Dank Memes. He's like, I'm a different type of queer. Demisexual queer. He's he's always slightly salty, but today he's, he's, he's mega salty. Why so salty today, Mr. Reanimated Bit? What's, what's anger you, my friend? Can we talk about it? Sing some kumbaya. Reanimated salt. Oh, oh, nice. Let's pick up another butter knife or some sort of weapon. I know I have some hunting knives, which are nice. And I've been like reluctant to use it. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think I got... I have some extra screwdrivers too. Could use those for stabbing like motion. There we go. Oh, well, we got nine butter knives. That's what I thought. Hmm? Let's take three, three decent quality ones. Not a problem. You're saying it perfectly, dude. No worries. 
I am quite fluent in... Where did I put the twigs? Didn't I put them in here? I'm so confused. Alright. Well, it's kind of late. So we'll just check a couple houses and then come back. Let's, I thought I had, I guess I ate all the mac and cheese. Bit of smoke and climb through. The butter knife killer. Let's do a quick check in some of these homes. For cooking pots. There's a saucepan. Another butter knife. Butter knife, the best weapon in the game. The most underrated weapon in the game. Yeah, I know. I like trying to clear out any corpses I run into. Another saucepan. And more butter knives. This is before I, I knew about butter knives, apparently. A bowl. I, I should take some bowls. Get a bowl. Another butter knife? What's going on here? Uh, the difficulty is survival. It's the only difficulty I actually play. I don't do the sandbox stuff or anything like that. But I do survival. We've been alive now, or surviving now for two months and five days. So, oh, another butter knife. All these wasted butter knives just sitting around waiting to be procured. We're really looking for cooking pots because we need to gather a bunch of water. Yeah, I've got my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a link if you click on the uh, YouTube thingy, majiggy, at the bottom of my uh, profile. I've got a whole set of Let's Learn episodes that can teach you some of the less transparent features of the game. But if you have any other questions or you want me to make a video about something, let me know. I always like taking requests. Those are the most fun. Because I know at least one person is going to watch it. <laughs> Thanks, Zade. I appreciate it, dude. And the reason why I like butter knives so much is, as you can see, it just takes one hit to kill them. The other added benefit is the fact that um, it doesn't take up a lot of endurance either. Because of the fact that you're not stomping, you're not pushing, you're not doing any of that sort. My character is relatively weak in the early game. So I'm still at only... Uh, level 3 fitness and level 4 strength. So he's relatively on the weak side right now. And I'm really sure I picked up a lot more cooking pots than just the two. I wish. That'd be awesome. You can keep a, a zombie for a pet and do the whole walking dead thing. Just cut them open and drench yourself with their entrails. Man, look at the overgrowth in here. So many little trees. So many little trees. You can see that all the all the containers have been dismantled for carpentry skill. And the dark purple is a fast shambala. The guy in the white is faster than the guy in the blue, so let's push the guy in the blue down. So if you got any questions about the game, don't hesitate to ask. I've been playing this game for a little while. So I know a thing or two or three about the game. So 
something I don't seem to know a lot about is uh, Barbara. Who's Bar Barbara? Where I put everything. Come on. That's interesting. I, I didn't I didn't put together one that talks about a good safe house because making safe houses is actually relatively easy to keep yourself secure. Uh, if you have yourself a sledgehammer and a little bit of nails and any zombie corpses, you can basically make any two-story building or a building with a flat roof into a decent safe house. But what in particular were you looking to uh, to know about uh, safe houses? one oh uh, yeah the barber thing mm, yes my trivia is bad well you're not doing your facts anymore I need I need to know like zombie facts I like that that day where you're, you were just throwing the facts down entertaining you know for a guy that plays games that are based off of like slasher flicks or any of that sort of thing. I haven't actually watched a lot of that content. Yes, zombie facts. Subscribe to oh, Kitchen Knife. Very good. Give me a cooking. I'll get one. We're going to try to get four bowls on our little looting spree here. Ah, beautiful raid. I do have some farming stuff in my guides. I go over uh, the logistics of how big you want to make your farm. And I go over just kind of how to farm in general. Hey, Bloody Mary, how you doing? It's all right. Um, yeah, barricades pretty easy too. All you need is just some some planks, which you get from cutting down trees and then sawing the logs. And you just need some nails. Hello, lady. I'm hither. Ooh, she can't even hear me when I'm like yelling at her. Uh, uh, Minecraft jokes. No, my first butter knife is broken. I only have ten more. Mm. Nice. I don't even remember the mannequin. I don't know why. I have to watch that movie again. I'll watch that today. I always watch a movie before going to sleep. Oh, a real safe house. Got it. If you have to explain the joke, Zade. Cooking pot. Da -na -na -na. knife yay chips yay matches yay all right i don't want to search like unopened or closed up houses at d in the dark oh, interesting yeah i'll watch that movie again tonight before we have to hit the road be watching some will smith Apparently there's supposed to be two, there's like two endings, like, and the alternate ending is actually better than uh, the theatrical ending. Let's sprint home. Let's get that little bit more sprint skill. Yeah, I, I read about that. It's, it's always been something that I thought would be a thing. The question is, is it, is it fresh water or is it, is it tainted water? Because for some reason, the barrels, when they pick up rainwater, it's tainted. 
Seems kind of strange. You would think that, you know, water right out of the sky would be fresh, but not in this game. So yeah, I was aware of that. I read the Mondoid on that. Pretty cool. Oh no! Trees are growing! Dabby trees! Don't grow on my... Grow on my little farm! It's so beautiful just earlier today! No! Get back! Oh boy. That's kind of cool. It uh, relieves the the need to get so many, um, so many uh, what's it called? Garbage bags. I know, seriously. So many corpses in Moldraw right now. Maybe a lot more when I start doing some shooting training. All right, cooking pot. Did I properly bring the cooking pots out? No, I did not. Excellent work. Excellent work. Get our little our cooking pots and put it in the same spot. Alright, so I think cooking pot is considered an item. Yep, it certainly is. Three cooking pots. That is pathetic. Pathetic! I should have like ten. Alright. Let's actually fill the cooking pots and, and boil them. Fill these in my main inventory. That's all the water from that barrel. Wasn't it raining like a lot earlier? Oh yeah, as soon as you shoot that shotgun, expect the whole world to come crashing down on you. You gotta be ready for it. Oh, I put logs in, Wait, what's going on here? logs into the, the campfire. Just willy-nilly throwing logs all around here. Alright, so we're gonna put the cooking water in there. We got some logs on us, we'll add some fuel. Ooh, I can pull from the inventory on the ground here too. That's nice. That's a nice. Alright, we really need to get all our lighters and matches out here too. Let's go do that. Alright, matches. Five. Lighters, 15. What in here? Oh, we got some more tree branches in here too. Oh, I have a ton of it in here. One twine, that's not good. Gotta be more twine than that. Gotta be two twine. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna be able to make nine. Alright, so where's the lighters and matches? I think I pulled them from both boxes already. Let's see. Oh, here's some more. Some more. Oh, not even that many lighters. It's okay. You make do. Um, you know, I thought that was the case, but we're gonna find out what happens. And I have a fire extinguisher. Let me get that. <laughs> Just in case. Because I did a video on, like, playing with fire, and I tried putting stuff, like, right next to the fire, and it didn't, didn't burn. But we have an extinguisher. Just in case. That's awesome. So I'm gonna put these logs here in hopes that they, you know, burst into burst into flames. And after my last character dying of uh, burning him, herself alive, I'm gonna be extremely careful with this stuff. Just need one twig. I'm like super scared of this thing. This is all boiled. There we go. Turn it off. And we got fresh water for a couple days. Uh, I think so, yes. I think um, fires do attract zombies. But if they can't see it directly, then it really doesn't matter too much. And it really depends if you have like the fire 
on for a super long time with the extinguisher in here. Oh, okay. That's good. Let's put the matches in here. Okay, I have one box of matches here for my smokes, I guess. Let's get rid of that and replace it with a lighter. I'll last longer. I'll make that one our favorite. Alright, let's put all this junk away. And then get some... Oh, we'll just sleep starving again. Alright, so we got three bowls. We need one more. And I uh, got some chips. Let's put that away. Yes, uh, I I didn't make I didn't make a, a guide on how to build a character. I went over all the traits and what I think about them, so you can decide on what you want your character to look like and and be and uh, play like. So there's all sorts of different routes you can take. You can have a really buff guy from the beginning, so that you can get through the early game really easily. Or if you build them like I do, um, I um, I pl I build them for the long the long haul. So um, what you're going to see is uh, my character's going to be super weak in the beginning of the game, but then as time goes on, it's going to be super buff later. Uh, the other thing you might want to watch too is at the beginning of every, of every uh, Let's Play series or my, my streams, like the very first part, I go over how I'm building the character. So if you look for, um, for Victor Adams part one and then the first like 20 minutes is me talking about how i'm building the character and all that good stuff i made a couple changes that i really like if i were to compare uh this character to helen cook because like right now i'm not stressing out because i don't need to find a hunting magazine because i already know all the traps so i can go right into providing my character with protein that he desperately needs as soon as all the non-perishable food is gone. Talking about food... It sounded really close. I think it was to the north. Oh, nice. I love those zombie facts. <laughs> best you have subscribed to zombie facts sit back and relax all right okay let's see how far along these guys are yeah if you if you are looking for links direct links let me know i'll go look for them for you send them on over to you through the the message stuff within uh within twitch All right, so we got we got water. We still need some more cooking pots. So let's go. Um, let's go to the west. I haven't done a lot of looting in those smaller homes to the west just yet. So let's go west. Oh, I need to eat. My bad. My bad. to eat some more perishable food buy chips gotta keep those cupcakes forever cupcakes are the best uh no the way i like to play is i tend to make these smaller more temporary places like this is my first safe house that i've kind of put some time into it because i i need somewhere to grind skill for the winter but then after this, most of my safe houses are a lot smaller, more compact. Like um, I'll I'll run by one of my safe houses, but really, uh, really a safe house is just you know either you barricade up the windows or you knock down the stairs and put up some rope ladders. You got to be careful though if you are on the experimental branch version 35, the um, the sheet ropes can get pulled down by zombies. So you got to always make sure you have an alternate route into your base in case they all get pulled down. So yeah, all right, so we're fed. Let's get a smoke in. And then let's go look for some more cooking bots and we'll go west and maybe we'll be able to find uh, the master carpentry book. That'd be nice. But if you wanted to play it that way, you could potentially make a very large safe house 
and if you had you know if you ha if if nutrition was turned on and you had a route to your traps that was safe you could potentially live for forever and do that but for me um the fun that i get out of playing project zomboid is to get all the skills to as close to maximum as possible with there are some exceptions like reloading takes forever and aiming takes forever actually aiming 10 isn't too bad but you've got to have uh, enough skill to use the pistol and find enough pistol ammo yeah i thought that npc noise was relatively close and so getting all the skills to max and the ability to basically loot every building in the game and get decorations and all that stuff so if you did want to play it that way and go about just surviving then it's relatively easy to do in this game but with the added uh, nutrition stuff requiring you to have kind of like a balanced meal um it does add a little bit of complexity because you can't just stay in your safe house forever you have to go out and actually do some trapping some proper trapping Zombies today. These all look pretty fast. It's gonna be a close one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's push the green shirt down. Green shirt. Correct. On survival, the uh, zombies respawn, but not the loot. Not the loot. So, original Night of the Living Dead, one of the producers. Oh god! <laughs> Complacency. Real organs. The helicopter at the end was owned by the local news station. The real newscasters were found at the end of the interview in the Angry Mob. Cool. I read it. I got my facts. Didn't die from craw random crawler. Uh, I don't really need to get a mouse trap. <laughs> okay. Off we go. Let's check the bookshelf just real quick. Nope. All right. Let's keep going. Ah, but that's that's the whole point of the game, man. You you, you can't make one mistake. Yeah, you can just go into if like if you pick survival, you won't be able to do it. But if you pick sandbox mode, you can you can change all the settings. I actually have a video on all the different settings that you can pick on the, the YouTube. Advanced first aid trapper for beginners. You can actually turn uh, zombie respawn off if you really wanted to. But um, that was, I think it was the version be actually right after Muldra was released. All right, dude, have some fun. So you got you got Battlefield One. How is it? What do you think of it? Hmm, I want this. Doctor poster. Doctor Dibs. But yeah, that's that's the real fun in the game is the fact that like you can't make one mistake. If you get one bite, you're done. Oh, there's that fourth bowl that we we need. Grab some rice too. It's just a saucepan, just in case we don't have one. That way we can make some of that stuff with rice and pasta and whatnot. Gotta check the mailboxes too for a potential magazine about herbalism. But you haven't played too much? And you're doing the campaign, you're not doing multiplayer right now? I mean, is there a campaign in that game? Like a, like a real campaign? Is every uh, Battlefield game that I played is like no campaign. Ooh, nice. See, that's why you check mailboxes now. Ever since 35.17. All right, that door is not open. One zombie to take care of. Right. 
Come on, give us the master carpentry book. What we need. There's lots of stuff in here. Not a lot that we need. Let's get a roasting pan just because. Mac and cheese, delish, another cooking pot. I think that brings us up to five now. Another butter knife for zombie slaughtering action. All right, we're out. Out. I had no idea. That's cool. So it's like a really real c campaign with stories and characters and stuff. Play all the different factions or something. Cool. Let me know how it is after you've played through the campaign, man. The campaign is worth playing, then I'll, I might take a look at it. I haven't played a shooter in a while. I think the closest to a shooter that I played is that H1Z1 game, which was interesting. Search the house first, Johnny. Now, those are your rules. See you, dude. Thanks for stopping by, man. Have fun. Okay. Ready to check that. Got some bleach for later. What the hell happened there? Cereal, garbage bag. Mm, don't need another frying pan. I think we have like 15 of them. I'll be plenty from when we do our cooking, cooking, grinding. I hear zombies. This house looked like it got just completely wrecked. Whoa. Oh, it scared me. Got startled a little bit. I was like, I hear one there. What is it, inside or outside? Oh, oh. Little shoulder jitter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. And shoulder actually quite a twitch there. Second, let me take care of this house real quick. I'll read your message in just a moment. That's why you don't solid snake. <laughs> Zombies with a with a knife. Come on. Pause the game, please. Thank you. Why should you cook if plants are good too? Uh so um with the survival on this version of the game, there's a thing called nutrition now. Where uh if you just eat berries, you're eventually gonna lose so much weight that you're gonna die. So there's two kind of food things you have to worry about. You have to worry about how hungry you feel as well as your basic overall nutrition. If we just get berries and mushrooms and stuff, you're not going to have any protein. You're not going to have any lipids. You're not going to have any carbohydrates. So eventually your weight is going to go down so much that you go to like super underweight and then you die. So I, apparently if you go down to like 30, 30 kilograms, I think was the number. I think it should be higher than that. 30 kilograms is like really light. So if you let your weight drop too much, uh, then you will you will die from malnutrition. So it's not just about fullness now. It's got the added element of a pillow. I just take pillows. <laughs> I had a feeling there was one in there. Didn't know he was coming. He'd come at me so quickly though. All right, we already checked the books. We already checked the books. Uh, chocolate. Tomato. Butter knife. Take some bleach. Always got to keep some bleach on you. All right, Zade. See you when you get back, dude. Have fun. Is that in survival? So, um, 
I'm not sure about the easier modes. Um, but what you can do is, so I'm going to quit here. So what you can do is if you start a sandbox mode, I'll go to solo and you go to custom sandbox. And right at the bottom here, you can select each of the different, the presets. So if like you go to first week, you can see how it's set up by looking at this stuff. So uh, nature, no, where is it? Sadistic AI director, nice. World, so you can see all the different settings. What am I trying to look for? Uh, I'm looking for... Hmm. One second, just looking for it. Okay. Oh, here it is. So you can see the fact that nutrition is on by looking at character. So it looks like it's on on each one of these. Yeah. Oh, yep. You get a starter kit too. Start with a bag with some useful tools. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I haven't even looked at that. All right, let's go back to it. So it looks like all the other modes have nutrition turned on by default. Okay, got some zombies up here. Hey yo, come on over. Yeah, erosion's crazy. It's the point where you can't even see any zombies trees everywhere and it's funny too once you get used to erosion being on and you play a new game like the game feels really bland this fast shambler i'm all to figure out what to do with all these slow guys it's too close for a stab yeah definitely too close for a stab there we go. Oh, we didn't, we didn't die. First stab of wound. And then, stab this one. Stab this one. And one more. Nope, of course. Down you go. Alright. Oh, I read it. Okay, I read this. Baseball bat, don't care. How about an axe? No axes? All right, no problem. Yeah, it, it feels kind of strange that it, it already after two months, it's this overgrown. It feels really, really fast. This probably doesn't have anything, but we'll just do a quick look. Come here, Bubba. There we go. Yeah, didn't think so. Alright, let's go. Let's go. This house looks untouched. by my hands. Closet zombie? Nope. Mm, bathroom zombie? Nope. What about... Bedroom zombie? <gasps> mm, I gotta listen to my own rule. Should never solid snake zombies. If they're not walking towards you, then you shouldn't go for the stab. Gotta hate this door. Totally blocks that. Scurred. All clear on the western front. If your selector something to look into, is it kind of orange? Is that a setup? 
Uh, I'm not really sure what you mean by that, man. Could not translate that one. Saw a cooking pot and a lighter. Baloney. Balonese, whatever. Order and pester. Pestle, I don't think I have one of those yet. Another lighter. Another butter knife. Yes, just endless supply of butter knives. Alright. Hit this cul de sac, and that should take us to the end of the day. Hello! Hello, zombies! How fast are you guys? This guy's nice and fast. You look, you look into like a kitchen block. Are you talking about a kitchen counter? Oh, um, yes. In this new version, uh, it will tell you what you're looting. Don't want to knock them all down. Come on, Johnny. behind me. Oh, Christ. I got a problem with just four of them. Come on. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. There we go. Yes. Oh, so um, when you're... See, so you can see the zombie corpse. It highlights orange now. It tells you which one you're looking at. That's in the new version of uh, version 35. But yeah, it's it's showing you what exactly you're looting. And what you have open in your inventory. This guy needs to get pushed down. That's that guy. And then Mr. Speed Demon over here needs to go down first. A pistol. Ooh, nice. That's both of the add-ons that you need. Laser and red dot. Uh, you can get the new version by um, Hunter Magazine. Need that. Would have loved that on my uh, on my uh, Helen Cook character. All right. Oh, good cooking magazine. What's that? Ooh, bread dough. Nice. All right, Kit. Thank you so much. Have a great night with the hubby. We're still streaming for another two hours or so. Uh, so uh, you have to kind of go to the Indie Stone forums and you have to look up um, IWBMS, the the iBums. I will back up my save branch, and there's this big uh, page that goes over. You know what to expect from the version, and then it also gives you the code to um, to uh, open the beta in Steam. So all you have to do is click on Project Zomboid in Steam, and then you right-click it, you hit Properties, then you go to the Betas tab, and then you put in I will accept the consequences, all one word, into the beta field, where uh, it will then unlock the new version for you. What the hell? Oh boy. We found a carpentry corpse. That's a nice. Let's see, did I make this corpse? If I went too fast on that, I can I can show you exactly how to do that. Oh, that's a nice picture. This zombie first. Oh, there's some more out here. Oh, there's more over here. Ah. <laughs> Screwed it up. Screwed it up. Come on. Come on past. Uh, the only new things that were added in 35... Uh, actually, a pretty good amount of new things were added in 35. Uh, that selector thing that you saw, they also added metalworking. Uh, they also added the ability to make wall frames and then upgrade them as you get more carpentry and or metalworking skill. 
which uh, the metalworking stuff is all about, like making metal related objects, like cabinets, gun cabinets, and other things that pertain to um, the electronic skill. You make like pipe bombs and whatnot. Pretty sure you can just, could have done that earlier, but I think they make it easier by allowing you to make some of the components. Everybody's dead. We're getting kind of closer to Main Street here. So yeah, they got some new stuff. Uh, they also included the fact that uh, you can't really sleep on schedule anymore. Like before, you can just say, like, I want to sleep for eight eight hours or whatnot. It's like they're on the move. I should be okay unless I don't make any noise. Take this poster. Oh, I want a place. I want to pick up. Oh, I don't want to pick up the futon chair. I want to pick up the poster. Mona, Monica Elisa painting. Okay. Where does that go? Does it go in my inventory? Yeah, it does. I don't have any room. I didn't bring my second bag either. Okay. All right. I can deal with a little bit of encumbrance. My cigarettes. Here we go. Yeah, so metalworking is a new thing, uh, the sleep thing is new, which also means that you actually don't start off by knowing exactly what time it is. A pistol. I gotta come back here. Because this corpse had a ton of stuff on it. Yeah, we'll come back. I can't even pick up duct tape. Alright, we shall be back. Keep the door closed. The only thing, though, I would warn about going with the I will back up my save branch, I w I'd really, um, I really suggest just kind of playing the game as it is right now and learning the game and getting more familiar with it. And then once you are capable of dealing with some of the bugs that may occur, like um, this version has had 20, 20 versions to it or 20 hot fixes to it. So there's a couple things that I'm lacking because this character started in 17G. There's supposed to be a big lake down here in the southeast now um, that was added in 20G. Um, I don't get that because my map was built before that. So there are some things that you miss out on if your map was made before a particular version was brought up. So um, I would highly suggest kind of staying away from the I will back up my save branch until like you feel like you're you're ready to play the game. So if you're just learning the game, I'd really suggest not doing that until later. Oh, all the food we got. got a bunch of uh, non-perishable food. Got some cans of food. Some more cereals, some more chips. Gonna have some kabajas soon. It's gonna be great. Gonna be great. Two mac and cheeses, very good. A little bit of rice. I can make bread now too. Cool. Make a video of what what the difference between or what the new stuff has. I probably would do that once it's released. Probably wouldn't do it before it was released. Because it would change. I saw a potato packet as well as the cooking pots. Let's put those back in there. Potato packet. Alright. Let's see what we got else to organize. Where are my uh, trash bags? Oh, I put them with the food for some reason. Let's change that. Go. Like I said, it's it's just um, I accept the consequences. 
that will give you that new version. But like I said, I really wouldn't start learning the game through a version that's going to change on you while you play it. But it's up to you. Doak. Where am I putting my pistols? Here they are. Kitchen knife. We got two hunting knives. Did I even touch these yet? No, I haven't even touched them. Just like keeping them safe. All right. Um, potato seeds will go in here. And then remaining cooking pots. Let's build those up. Are you kidding me? I thought it rained. I thought it rained. Why is there no water? They need more barrels. Good because cabbages need lots of water. I was hoping it was gonna rain consistently. So this looks like well watered. Okay. It's been 25 hours since it's rained. And let's put these in here. Uh oh, I gotta be very careful. The only thing I want is that I know what I loot. So, oh, you mean like what to loot in the beginning of the game, or what exactly you're looting? Because uh, in the beginning of the game, in the beginning of the game, I would suggest looking for bags, like um, the large, large hiking bags you can carry a lot, uh, a water bottle with a good source of water, um, which is easy to come by in the in the early game because everything is still on. Uh, and then a weapon of some sort, whether it be kitchen knife, uh, frying pan, uh, hammers are pretty plentiful, so I would definitely suggest getting those. Like, hammer is kind of my go-to weapon. You can see, like, my favorite weapon apparently right now is a hammer. And then slowly upgrade to axes and knives and stuff like that later. Let's go ahead and sleep for the night. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's what you mean. All right, makes sense. The cabbage is almost done. Nope. Not almost done at all. So let's eat a little mac and cheese. Got two new ones. Yummies. Yummers. I gotta eat the whole thing. All right. <clears throat> Let's go loot the rest of that cul-de-sac. Like I said, just be careful because the game will change as you play it. And that may not be fun for you because you're going to kind of miss out on certain things. Like the map that I made before uh, 17G, I wasn't able to loot from mailboxes. So there's some things that work, some things that don't. Uh, if you were to maintain a map through different versions. But it's actually quite easy to loot. I don't know if I don't know if you knew, but if you have multiple containers, let's see if I can get uh, some zombies together here. If you put your mouse cursor right here, oh, of course, of course it's not working for me when I want it to. There we go. You can just put your mouse cursor in this black bar here, and then use your mouse wheel to go through all the different uh, containers. So it's really nice and fast. It's kind of how I loot really, really quickly. So I never really needed the highlight thing, but if uh, you need it, then you go for it. All right, let's do a little bit of running. Should be very close to finishing up uh, the next level of sprinting. Yeah, we only need uh, like 10.4 points. And we're gonna be even faster once we're not overweight anymore. So we're almost done with that. Yes, yeah, so like right here, we got all these zombie corpses right here. Just go right through it just by using the mouse wheel and putting your cursor in this area. I think the 
cul-de-sac was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Already exerted. God. Over there. Unfit. Do like a couple minutes of running, or like a, less than a minute of running, you're already exerted. Thank God for butter knives. Thank God for lots of butter knives. Saw some good stuff on one of them. Nope. Guess I'm wrong. <laughs> Sizable pack. I think I walked the wrong way. It's okay. I didn't think he hit me. Check all the corpses. Yeah, I won't be <clears throat> I won't be streaming tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday of this week. But thanks so much for coming by, man, and thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Come on, boy. Alright, good night. I've got some good sleep. It might have been this way. Yeah, I remember coming through here. Oh, here we go. That's where we need to go. Gotta get off a lot of stuff off of the carpentry corpse that we saw. Every so often you'll run into a corpse that you didn't make. Always check those because they could be of a um, kind of a, a themed character or a themed survivor. Like sometimes you can find like every weapon in the game or every piece of ammo for each weapon in the game of the survivor corpse. Nice little cache of goodies to take. Just like the boarded up houses, like if you find any houses that are completely boarded up, really want to search those so that you can um, get at all the goodies that are in there, which most of the time you'll find some shotgun ammo as well as a bunch of canned eggs. Bunch of zombies killed off. And a propane tank over there too. Good to know. That was close. It's also close. Hit? Nope, I did not. Come on, dude. Hey, Crash Dummy. What's going on, dude? Welcome back. Playing some more Project Zomboid. Playing Project Zomboid until we get bored of it, or Mr. Victor Adams dies a horrific death. So thank you so much for stopping by again. Currently looking for cooking pots, which we found two of them. Butter knives, potato seeds, good. Some more food and some 9mm and matches. Uh, let me just adjust myself here. Ah. Back, good old crack. Yes, yeah, so I think we're now up to seven cooking pots. It's a good number, pretty decent number. I think we checked in here. Expert cooking. Every time I see a cooking book, no matter if I already have it, I always pick up another one just in case. 
This cooking blows. Takes so long. So long for the level cooking. Let's finish looting this house. So, um, we don't need this because we're already done. Duct tape. There's a box of uh, farming magazine. We already have that one. Try to get as much water as we can so we don't have to be boiling our own water. <clears throat> Is there anything else in here that we needed? Yeah, there's a pistol in here too. Pepper. And goods, another thing of peanut butter, matches, and a butter knife. Good. All right, let's check the third house in this cul-de-sac. So how you doing today, Crash Tech, Crash Dummy? You playing anything interesting? Keep wanting to say Crash Test Dummy. Right, crash Dummy. Master trapping, let's just take that just in case we don't have it. Search the rest of the house. There was a huge horde outside here. Rubber duck! Oh yeah? Are you playing with people or are you playing on your own type thing? Yeah, we were playing Pulsar like about three, four weeks ago. Had a lot of fun with it, but everyone got a little burnt out. But if that'd be something interested, the in interesting for you to play, oh, you're always trying to get a full group. Yeah, if you're interested in playing with that with us, um, be sure to join our Discord server. And whenever I call out for multiplayer games, give uh, Pulsar a vote and see if people want to play it. If we get four or five, we definitely play that again. I heard the latest version makes it easier to get unflagged, which was our big problem when we played it last. Like stealing a ship is like pointless because it's just flagged. You can't go anywhere with it. Like getting attacked by everyone on the map. So you're just playing with some randoms or you have some friends that like playing it? I know there's a few of us that still want to play that game. Love to find two or three more people that are interested in playing it. I know me and Alan would definitely like to play some more Pulsar at some point. I've looted this place already. I have. That's trapping. Fishing for beginners. Button here. Nope, it doesn't look like I've looted this place yet. Let's close this door. There's some zombies out there. You know. Butter knife. Cooking pot, nice. I think that brings us up to eight. Some vinegar. This should start getting some flour and sugar too. I need to make some bread at some point. I'll be able to make hamburgers again. Rabbit burgers. Alright. Some other places to loot up here. Finally raining again. Yay. Yep. It definitely does. Yeah, it's really nice how much cooking skill you get from, like, uh, butchering up all your rabbits that you catch each day. 
Kind of helps with the grind a little bit. But there's a small drop in the bucket for the amount of pr uh, food preparation that you need to do to get cooking all the way up. So were you guys using the cruiser in your in your uh, Pulsar game? I think you were the one that mentioned that on YouTube, right? About how the cruiser doesn't have any labeling to it. Or is it somebody else? It could be wrong. The cruiser in, uh, like, what ship are you using in uh, Pulsar, Lost Colony? Lots of zombies over here. Every time you're near the main main road, there's always so many zombies. Any goodies in the mailbox? Nope. So good. Man, Helen Cook would have loved to be able to loot mailboxes. Butcher knife down. Or sorry, uh, butter knife down. These butter knives are great. I already searched that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh man. There's a lot of zombies. Let's just loot some more. Don't it's not really that efficient to go um killing zombies all day long, but it's that's some fun. The stargazer, huh? Didn't have any luck with the stargazer. I guess you, getting that first reactor and uh, first set of shields for it are super important. But we couldn't. We never find a reactor or or shield generator that kept the EM signature low. I'm just unlucky. Come on, give me master carpentry. I need master carpentry. Not much in here. I just don't like the interior of the Stargazer. Stargazer is just like, like the Millennium Falcon, just trash heap. All right, let's search these little houses. Looking for, I think, two more cooking pots, which will make me happy. My OCD satiated. I think we have a main earth. Three. Last one. Mm, nice. Just turn everything off. Yeah, that's what we were doing for a while. Like, we, we didn't even have an air on. We just all wore our um, EV suits, EVA suits. Kitchen knife. Nice. Another butter knife down. I love being able to do all this. All this looting when it's like an unlimited amount of butter knives out there. Doors open. Spiffo. And there's an alarm. I found a Spiffo though. Spiffo got. Alright. I guess that's the end of the looting for this area. I wonder how many zombies we get. Let's do some zombie murdering. Yeah, we're right next to the um, the football field, so there's gonna be quite a few coming. I'm interested in how many zombies come from the east. Oh, 
They found Spiffo. Spiffo has been found. Yeah, there's like barely any. But I gotta be careful though because um, zombies that are trapped in the forest between Muldra and the train station actually will slowly make their way west. Make things difficult. So there's a lot of zombies in those trees, just kind of stuck in there for, for months. Guess I can sprint home. Hope to get that last bit, bit of points, just 3.9. 3.9 points. Love this a sprint. So many zombie corpses. Yeah, they were saying something about adding like diseases to the game that you can acquire from zombie corpses just hanging out. Yeah. N neutral flagship? Really? Not flag though, right? You mean designated neutral, right? That's what you mean? Because when you say flag, that means something totally different. Or do you mean really flag flagged? Because every time we got flagged, quote quote, um, it was basically shoot on sh shoot on sight from everybody. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just checking, because I was like, really? You can be flagged and neutral, not get attacked? But yeah. I was pretty sure I removed grass from there. Our cabbages are coming along nicely. Are well wa watered from the rain that just hit today. Nice. Let's put Spiff over right here so we can see him. Hey Spiff, and we'll give you a friend. Look at your friend, Mr. Rubber Duck. There we go. Everybody's happy now. All right, let's go do some inventory management. We all love inventory management, right? Yay, inventory management. So much fun. Put in the second box, all right? And then uh, let's put all this other junk in the proper boxes. I think we're at, yeah, we're nine cooking pots. That should be all right for now. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like how you can't tell if it's tainted water or not. Unless you mouse over it. There's clean water. Cooking pots. There's a little bit of rain, so hopefully we're able to fill all these cooking pots. Not a lot of rain. I have to put some more barrels down. I don't want to build a lot of barrels. All right, let's go ahead and boil this water so we have even more fresh water. Grab a twig. There isn't some EVA action. Oh, oh, oh you mean, yeah, yeah, being outside the spaceship. That's right. Yet, I don't think. Do they have that planned? All right. There's some water. We got nine things of water. Very good. Very good. Okay. What else can we do today? Now that we've set off an alarm, do a little bit more. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe you can repair some components, like maybe repair the hull a little bit on the outside. That'd be super cool. I'd love to be able to have that be a thing. Any duplicates? Yep. 
one here and we got two here probably the ones we just brought in where is my carpentry for mastery mastery carpentry need it all right and we got pistols over here somewhere there they are then kitchen knives over here and what else do we got to got potato seeds put that outside let's do it right now <laughs> yeah that'd be cool you can go flap to another another ship and go and need need your need your windshield wipe ten dollar ten dollar I'll, I'll clean your windows throw in a david chappelle in there too want some crack baby all right vinegar sugar oh what am i doing it's not an item i guess it is an item all right all right go with that flour and then duct tape we got some ammo can we make a box as yes, we can good we have one box of nine millimeter that's uh the loot in this new version is so scarce so scarce Lighter in our main inventory and we're good. We'll just throw that extra lighter and matches into the firebox. Fire oh, there we go. We finally got it. Sprinting level three. Yeah. Where those matches go? There they are. All right. Very good. Eat a little bit of food. And then maybe head to the southwest a little bit. I don't think there's a lot le left of loot over there. We'll just sleep for the night. Let me see if we can read a book. I think we have to read the book on... Uh... Hey, Disillusioned, what's going on? We've been alive for like two months now? What are we at? Two months, seven days? Just uh, get things kind of prepped. Or we're going to do a lot of uh, grinding of skill in both farming, cooking, trapping. Probably need to make some stick traps. That's probably what I can do right now. Let's do that. Just collected a bunch of uh, cooking pots for boiling water. So we're pretty decent there. The only problem is it's looking like we may need to make some more uh, barrels to capture water. But yeah, doing pretty good. Yep, and we explored the, the new areas. I think it was uh, not yesterday, but the day before. But man, it's like a whole new city down there. And the best thing about it right now is that there are no zombies because it's not flagged as an urban area. So if you've got, if, you, if you're playing survival or you're playing in sandbox mode where you have uh, zombies spawn in uh, urban areas only instead of uniformed, then there's nothing over there other than the zombies that are inside each of the buildings. All right, so let's go ahead and make some planks. Let's make, or you know, maybe make planks. We need to make sticks. I guess we need to make planks then sticks. Okay. All right, and then make sturdy sticks. Plenty of sticks. All right, then we're gonna make a stick trap. I'll make eleven, and I'll make nine. I think nine birds a day will be fine. Actually, way more than fine, but that's okay. Gotta get that trapping skill up. Yeah, we checked out all the southwest. Um, we even looked around for more stuff. The best thing, though, the best thing, if you didn't know, guys, there is now water in Moldra that you can fish from. Uh, unfortunately, this character was made uh, right after... I didn't know I had a propane tank here. Uh, this character was made before 20G came out. And uh, actually, just southwest of this house, if you go straight into the um, into the forest here. There is a lake or like a pond that you can fish from. So yes, there's finally fishing in Moldra. You don't have to wait to go all the way north to uh, West Point anymore to be able to do fishing. So that's pretty sick. Fortunately, I don't get it because this this map was made before 20G came out. 
right. Let's throw what little twine we have left in here. We got nine stick traps. Get some worms and then uh, set our traps and see how long they last. Gotta be careful though. Don't want the traps to break. Let's get all that enough. All right, let's plant these traps down. I dug my, or axed my little path here. All we need to do is just place them right over here. And we should have some good old protein waiting for us in the morning. My favorite class in Pulsar has got to probably be Engineer. I really enjoy the Engineer quite a bit. I also like the weapons guy too, especially once you start getting all those other add-ons that make everyone like super buff. I don't know what's wrong with the shadow lighting. It's like flickering. It's really annoying. I don't remember seeing that prior to this 20G version. Must be something to do with the uh, the, the old map. Not meshing very well with the new additions. I really hope these traps don't get ruined because of the fact that we don't have any more twine left. And we need at least enough points to start making some rabbit traps. But then that's just wood as well, I think. It's not too bad. Like you don't have to have wire cages to get to get rabbit. But the, like the the box traps are just just as good. Just as good. So yeah, it looks like we're pretty much good to go in terms of uh, getting ready to grind out these skills. Really wish that we were able to find a Master Carpentry book. I think we've already read the book for trapping, so we're good. Let's get some sleep. There we go. Sleep. Gunshot to the northeast, which is going to be interesting because of that horde that appeared because of the alarm. It's starting to get a little bit cold. Just a little bit cold. All right. Get some sit get a smoke. Oh no, we put our smokes away. No. Probably could put it in the food. Put it in the second box, right? Yeah, there we go. Smokes, let's favorite those so we don't get rid of them. Yeah, I agree. But at least he'll be able to do a lot of the docking or the uh, the boarding operations as well as um, like doing most of the repairs and whatnot. We still get to, sh to pew pew as well. Get on the laser turret. And then the laser, the turrets are so weak compared to the main gun. It's hilarious. Like we, um, we killed like the boss guy at the exclamation point and we were able to procure his, his main gun. And like, we were just one shotting things. That's when everyone got bored. Like, well, we beat this game. All right, where's my axe? Let's get rid of this tree. Like, eventually everything gets kind of boring in that game as you get bigger and better things. I guess the only the only uh, position that, that stays active is, like, the science engineer. You have, like, more stuff to worry about. So I can get those uh, worms back. I don't need this many worms, though. That's yeah, really heavy. Not smart to carry that many worms. Yeah, that's way too many worms. 
Yeah, I think everyone just kind of sits back and relaxes as soon as the whole place is pretty much upgraded. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Oh, a log. I have a random log on me for some reason. Why won't you let me drop this log? Thank you. Alright, let's go check on those traps. I'm like... Each of the positions is rel are relatively easy on their own if you're not having to do double shifts. But Engineer is the most fun for me, at least. You get anything good? Not yet. Oh, shit, crap. Yeah. We got one. Got another one. And make some our own food today. First time ever. Nice. How many worms do we get? How many birds do we get? Five. Very good. Oh no, it's just raining like crazy. Which is nice. I really need this rain. I really think I need to make like two more barrels because these barrels are filling up really slowly. Can I carve stuff up with the butter knife? Let's see. Nope. I need an actual kitchen knife. Let's go get one of those and put it in our uh, inventory. There we go. And then keep the kitchen knife in here. We also need to, um... We also need to get our, uh, what's it called? Our frying pans. I think it's in the weapons box, it is. They are classified as weapons. There we are, 13 frying pans. All right. Hey, look at all that cooking skill I got from just butchering birds. So good. Alright. Got five pieces of small meat. Let's see how many of the same thing we can put in here. Without it getting boring. I think it's three. Yep, three. So you make like one and a half stir fries. Oh, actually made I made three of them. They're really small. That's cool. I'm not standing on the square. Let's get a twig. Could probably get a bunch of clues and rip them up into rags. For later. Yeah, yeah, just cooking up some meat. And then add fuel. One. There we go. All right, look at that. We got we got real food now. For once. We got real food. Not a lot. But it is definitely food that we made ourselves. So good. And, um, go ahead and throw this in here. That in here, too. I probably need another box. I'll probably put another box right here. Let's do that right now. Just make one that's completely designated for food, as well as have maybe multiple tiers. I have some logs right here, and I think I have nails in here. No, I don't. Let's go get some. Get some nails. Look how fast he runs now with that new sprint skill. 
He's still overweight. Yes, he is. Bales, thank you. Right. I'll have to cut up that many logs. Probably more than one. Great. There we go. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Get on top, not behind the wall. Thank you. All right. That looks good. Am I carrying this so heavy? Probably my frying pans, huh? Planks still on me. Just add the planks as fuel. Okie doke. Did I put all the frying pans away? Yes, I did. Good. Put them in here. All right. Excellent. Let's eat this. Eat all of this. It hasn't been full in a very long time. Oh, um, maybe I shouldn't eat too too much because of the fact that I, I would do want his weight to go down a little bit more. Apparently, with the new version of, of nutrition, uh, how fed you are determines how slowly or how quickly you lose or gain weight. So, if you're full all day long, then uh, you can lose weight. If you're not nutritionally balanced, like if you're just eating protein, then you can still lose weight. Um, it really depends on the calories, right? As well as the balance of uh, protein, lipids, carbohydrates, and um, fat. So what to do? What to do? How did my carpentry or how my my trapping go up? How did that look? Got about half of the level. Cooking's almost there. Let's go check the traps again. Those birds you can catch all day long. You can catch birds all day long. You have to wait for nighttime like you have to do for, uh, for rabbits. I probably just want to put these on a long row. God, that's, that sound always scares the crap out of me. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't bring any worms. Oh, don't remove the trap. The trap. There we go. There's trapping. So that means that we've got to do some trapping reading and then probably after we're done repairing these birds we'll probably need to read some cooking book as well another five very nice Grab a twig. Grab a kitchen knife. That doesn't stay there anymore. Grab our frying pans. And then... Oh yeah. Prepare these. Put your put your... There it is. So loud. That level up. Away. No, we're not gonna get that much skill because we don't have the uh, modifier. Okay, put that in there. Cooking pan or frying pan, kitchen knife, 
And let's go ahead and get some worms. I only need nine. Nine on the dot. And let's go ahead and rearm those traps or rebate those traps. Baited. All right, that's a good day. Got some skill. Gonna have to read some books for the rest of the night. That was a good day. Decent day. So we need cooking for intermediates, or yeah, cooking for intermediates, and trapping for intermediates. Let's hang out outside while we read so we don't get bored. And then sit back and relax a bit. Ah. Wish it would be like some sitting animation. Get like some comfort or something like that while you read rather than just stand there vibrating uh, I'm reading reading is so intense smoke all queued up for after we're done I'm reading intensifying uh. <laughs> Oh, good times. Such intense reading going on right now. <laughs> so have you played a lot of uh, Project Zomboid Crash, t Crash Dummy? I keep wanting to say Crash Test Dummy. All nighter. It's trapping reading. Asleep. We should make two more barrels too. A three is just not enough. Just not enough rain. Alright. Sleep all day, just like I do normally. Okay. Yeah, I've been sleeping at night for the last couple weeks. Finally fixed my sleep schedule. And now I'm just tired all day long. It's very annoying. It's like my body got used to being asleep during the day. The small one first. But yes, no more wasting non-perishables. So good. all filled with good water I hope yep all righty let's go ahead and put this trapping book away so I'll have to read that today or ever again we'll go get the birds, which means we also need worms. Perfect. Nine worms. Eight. 
Yeah, and then nine rabbit traps are pretty good too. That should be a good number to go with. I think we have enough wire for that. Because you get about seven to ten carrots per lot. sound that scares me all that trapping skill just going up crazy got a lot of birds that time Eight. Eight birds. Probably want to wait till we're done with uh, reading the cooking book, though, before we prepare them. Since we can make um, two and a quarter, two and a third of a stir fry. Well, the other thing we can do is we can probably drag over the propane grill that's a little bit to the west of here. Another thing we can do. like our campfire got grass on it get rid of that grass there we go let's put these dead birds in here and then we're going to pseudo sit on our plastic chair while we read the cooking book and we'll just go all night let's see how our weight's doing 92.53 now We're just at the right, about the right time where we need to start um, kind of maintaining our weight rather than losing it. We start at 100 or 105. That was 100. Was it 100? I guess it was. Probably higher than that. Anxious from the lack of nicotine in his bloodstream. <laughs> up a smoke right after he's done reading the book uh, good times project sound boy tensely reading again shuddering against the four the force of the words that are entering his brain Looks like he's all done. Still wasting time. Go. All right. So that way we can now prepare all these birds. Probably eat all this now too. Get three frying pans. We don't need all of them. So all the birds. There we go. Look at that. Almost half of a level just butchering the birds. Got a pretty good amount of meat now. Let's make two. Yeah, two and one third stir fry meals. Very good. Excellent. Oh, there's still one left. No, what am I gonna do? There we go. Cook 
cooking. We almost got another full level of cooking, which is nice. All right, what am I gonna do today? I'm tired because he uh, did an all nighter, and I think I put my book back. I put my book into the uh, already read book pile. What should we do today? Hmm. I'm thinking. Spend the day doing maybe some fitness training. So let's see if I can find myself a heavy weapon. I don't know if I have any crowbars or anything like that. Maybe a golf club. Sledgehammer is too heavy. No, oh, I didn't. didn't get myself a crowbar. Seen plenty of them, but I never picked one up because they're so heavy. So axe will be fine. Now, I don't normally like doing these high-speed uh, skill-gaining things, but fitness is so bad for gaining that I'm I'm okay with it. I abide. So all you do is you start swinging, and then you speed things up quite a bit, and you'll see that you gain a pretty good amount of fitness. I mean, it's not like cheating cheating fast like all of a sudden you're at the next level but you get a few couple hundred a day I'll just do this until it's time to sleep I'm doing this outside so he doesn't get bored so yeah it's it's kind of cheesy way to do it, but at the same time, not getting that much. The way I see it, he's just sitting there practicing all day with his, his axe foo. Just checking all his forms. picks up different tile I mean to have to click the the sleep oh no he wrote he had a nightmare poor mr. Victor he had a nightmare go back to sleep He had a nightmare and he woke up panicked. Yep. Sleepy time. At, at two months and eleven days. Victor has killed almost two thousand zombies, which is not a lot. I might have like 6,000 at this point. But that's because I haven't seen any axes drop. Or very few axes drop. And I haven't been using my axes because I don't have that many of them. And I don't, I'm not at full carpentry yet. So let's eat one of these stir fries. Our meat fries. And he really needs a smoke. Apparently he's a nervous wreck. All right, let's check to see what level these are. Ooh, oust a tree. All right, yeah, so these are... Reminds me of someone who pushed a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you if you punch a tree for, for two months, you get a ton of strength too. I'll just check to see how fast that is. If it's really, really fast, then 
I might do it. I mean, if it's I mean, if it's really really fast, I won't do it. But if I if it's not, then I might consider doing it. It kind of just makes sense. He's just training for long periods of time. God, that sound! And I forgot. I forgot worms again. Really annoying. Oh my god, that sound too is so loud. At least now I can make the wire traps. Which are nice because it actually has two frames. It has one that is something that's not caught and something is caught. Do I have four screens? I have uh, two. I have one little one, it's like 27 inch computer screen. And then I have my 40 inch screen, which has all my streaming stuff on there. Yep. Yeah, gonna make some more rain barrels. This is nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough. All right, let's get our stuff for cooking again. Butcher some birds. It's actually really, really good for for cooking. I might as well do like. A ton more traps or something. Maybe I'll do that. Do a ton more traps because I have so many worms and worms are so easy to come by. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, screw cooking by just preparing stir fries. It's the worst. Good with food for sure. Oh, that's right. That's the reason why I didn't make that many uh, stick traps because I don't have enough twine. But if we make a ton of carrots, then we might be able to make a lot of uh, of the uh, the box traps because I think that's just a little bit of wood and let's see what do we have to make for the stick traps. Should I trap a trap box? Oh, it does require a good amount of nails. I mean, not a lot, but not that I'm going to make, like, 20 of them. Yeah, I'm good. I, I just... I, I really just need enough for the farm, and I don't think three is enough right now. I mean, I'll just make a fourth. Cage trap, trap box. Hmm. I wonder how many cage traps I can make with the wire that I have. So I make, I can make these now. Trapping three. again. Seems to be the magical number for us. See, I don't I don't want to make the cage traps just yet because we have a limited amount of wire and I want to make sure that the area is relatively safe for a good amount of time. 
but I'm been trying to think about like maybe putting a wall around my traps to ensure what's with this cooked this bird meat that doesn't get added to the, uh, the stir fries. I, I pretty much tried to add it to the stir fry. It's not add a rot. I tried to try to add it to the stir fry, and it didn't come up. Then bait the traps. I'm starting to get messy. Let's collect what little logs we have over here and then see if we can make another barrel out of it. <clears throat> Just need four. Four planks. Nails, so many I have them in my main inventory. Got four. That should be good enough. But yeah, putting pots in the ground that works too. Be able to collect water that way. Should probably do that every time a um, a pot is completely empty. There we go. Go ahead and rebate all of the traps. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe um, doing a thing where put a wall around these traps and see if they can still capture things with a wall around it. I mean, I would expect the bird traps to work just fine. But it doesn't make sense logically if the um, you get rabbits with that too. This should be easier to uh, the character walk like this. There it goes. That works. My problem with having a single line like that is that if a zombie comes by, at least one of them is getting taken out. But at least it's one instead of uh, three. The earlier setup, unless the zombie goes this way and then breaks through every single one of them, that would blow. All right. All loaded up, ready to go. So we can do some fitness training. For the rest of the night. Yeah, it feels like these smokes are happening more often. I guess it's because I've been sleeping and spending extra time. Alright, 
2200 hours. Fitness is almost level four. And sleep. I think we may have some cabbages tomorrow. Not yet. Almost. Almost. Last time watered 20 hours, so it didn't rain last night. Go get our birds. I've been nocturnally sleeping for the last couple weeks and I uh, finally fixed my sleep schedule and I've just been completely exhausted all day long. Had some coffee too. Uh oh. I don't know, just grass on it? Yeah, I guess there's just grass on it. Like it's broken? Like no, no birds this time. No birds at all. Just four of them. Go ahead and butcher these birds. Nice. And prepare some stir fries. All right, let's check to see if we have an extra bird somewhere in there. I don't think so. meat going on in uh, these stir fries. Alright. Oh, I left them in here. Alright, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go check to see if my window is open because it's starting to get pretty hot in here. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And the window was open, and it's just really effing hot today. Awesome. Okay. I would use the central air in this room, but <laughs> my computer heats up the ribs so quickly. All right. So let's get a knife in there. We've got lots of food to eat that is refreshable, but we're probably still losing weight, which we are. Almost to 90, so we're almost to the point where we're going to be in the middle weight range. Which is good, but if we don't, if we can't sustain the weight, then that will be bad. Which means we'll go the other route, which is underweight. So, got to get this farming skill going. Got to get going relatively soonish here. 
All right, what are we going to do now? We go rearm the traps with the worms that I keep forgetting each day. Uh, we can go look for a carpentry book. Fight some zombies up north. Let's do that. Like every time I'm like missing one book, I always find them at the trailer park to the north. Another bird here. A lot of people say that uh, you could actually use bird meat instead of rabbit meat for later, but um, I actually prefer just get the rabbits. Forces me to have to do carrots, which is which is fun. Fun. <laughs> Got to keep things interesting when the game gets into the boring, really boring state. Yeah, these cabbages should be ready in the morning. I planted them like at like two in the morning, I think. Throw the dead bird in here. Nails in here. Whip the butter knife. Axe in the bag. And let's go north. Get a smoke. We got it. point of fitness. This guy gets winded so easily. What is our other safe house over here doing? Pretty good. I can rest inside here. Rest for an hour. Wow, that house got devoured by uh, the vines. Oh, that's what we can do. We can uh, lug one of these grills back home. Totally do that. Move the propane tank. And pick this bad boy up. Oh, it's only 15. That's not half bad. <laughs> put it in my backpack? I sure can. Propane tank is completely full. Nice. We just hauled a ton of sand. This isn't going to be too bad. The other thing we can do is a lot of um, metal working too. Just dismantle a bunch of... Uh, sinks and uh, I guess sinks and toilets and stuff like that do the metal working on that that'd be a good thing to do right now too Just need a propane propane uh, torch as well as a uh, welding mask and dismantling doesn't remove any of the propane out of the uh, out of the tank the only problem is we just don't have any um, we just don't have any uh, of the recipes read yet, so we can't really make anything with metalworking, but we can at least get the skill up. It's just not on my list of things that has to be done. also a red grill right here too and there's also another propane grill over to the west and then get the propane tank from there too I wonder how long it will last I haven't really used
used propane grills before in this game. I've used them just randomly. I need to have need to cook something. Why do I have to click on this twice? How dare you dirty up my place? Place. Oh, it's not in my main inventory. Oh, that's that's not place. Let's pick up. Where do I put this thing? Right there sounds good. And then insert propane tank. There you go. You can rest for a little bit. Go get the other tank. It's a little bit to the west. It's not far. And we have enough room inside the bag, so it's not going to take forever to get back. And I could have sworn there was another tank. Oh, zombie! Hi! I missed you guys. Painkillers, nice. Full tank? Yes, it is. Someone bought a grill and then didn't even use it. Terrible. Blasphemous. I put a propane tank in here, yeah, that's where I was keeping it. This one's not full like the others, but that's okay. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll take this one and replace this full one here. Awesome. So we've got a grill now. So good. And uh, let's see. What should we do? I'll find me that uh, propane torch and welding mask. Now I know I have those. And torch. There's one. Stuff back in inventory. And the welding mask. Here we go. A few of them. And dismantle a bunch of stuff. Let's see, did I read up on metalworking? Better question. Nope. Didn't finish it. Point six right now. Well, working for beginners. Let's go outside to read. Get up on that book. It's really funny how you're learning. All this stuff about metalworking from a book, and you don't learn any of the recipes at the same time. Seems kind of strange. Almost 
almost there, almost to 90. because they're going to be my inventory for a while. Almost cold. Thunder. It's still raining? No. Nope. Looks like we got some cabbages today too. Very good. These things in our inventory there. And let's go get something to eat. Make sure it's still fresh cooked. up all the way. Alright. And it's back in. Alright. I'm gonna run and hit the head real quick. Sorry. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so we're fed now. Put the frying pans back in. So we read our metalworking book. Let's go check the traps. And oh, and we got to do the. Um, Got to get the cabbages today, too, and then replace those. All right. Do the traps, then we do the cabbages. Then we can actually make, like, a combo stir-fry. Cabbages and birds. Oh. Oops. Can't wait till we have a trap that actually has two different frames to it, so we know exactly which ones need bait and which ones need to be checked. All right, that's what we got. We got five plus the one that we pulled yesterday, so that's six birds. It's good. We use our new propane, propane grill. There's our dead bird. Kitchen knife. Let's just eat all the stir fry. There we go. Got 
the frying pans in our uh, pocket. Which are all the birds. And then uh, collect some cabbages. That's one level. All I had to do was uh, harvest two. Oh my god, I only have to harvest four to get to the second level. I don't know how much longer these things are going to stay ripe. I'm going to read, read the farming book. Alright, so we got 31 cabbages. And then create stir fry. That's all. Oh no, there's one more bird meat. Okay. Get some pretty hearty meals now. Barbecue info of fuel seven hours thirty minutes. Okay, that's turned on. Wow, that's so fast. That's super fast. That's so nice. All right, look at those meals. So good. Some lipids and some protein. All we need now are some. All we need now are some uh, potatoes, and then we'll have carbohydrates as well. These out of here, put them over here. And then we can also get some water for our water bottle. potato seeds so we got eight potato seeds we've got six carrots three more cabbage seeds packets but it's going to go up as we harvest more right and um probably need another or you know what i need to do is i need to make those um composter yeah composters i think that's what they're called nails in our pocket here and then we'll make some composters I need uh, my hammer in my inventory which apparently cannot fit anything right now let's get all the planks we can get Build some composters. Four nails, five planks. Okay, I can build two of them. All right, put the cabbages in there. And then we'll put the planks over here. All right, looking good. Looking good. Is this full? Yeah, it is. That's so nice. Leave that there until we run out of water. It's really cool. Don't have to pull it from the uh, the barrels anymore. So thanks so much for the uh, the hint on that one, Crash Dummy, or the reminder on that one. Put the butcher knife away. All right, let's go read a farming book. Try to do it as fast as humanly possible. And then to go, so farming for intermediates. Yes, farming for intermediates. Grab that. And then read it.
Done reading that, we'll go ahead and harvest all the rest of these cabbages and then replace the this cycle with another set of cabbages. That is really nice to be able to just put pots out in, in the open, let rain fill them up, and then you just boil them and you're good to go. You don't have to pull from what you're using for all of your... Uh, your farming stuff. Really nice. We're now in the 90 range, so maybe I'll replace these cabbages with um, with potatoes and just do No, I still need to I still need to focus on getting the skill up for farming, which is a lot faster if you're using cabbages. Cabbages are the, the crop that grow the fastest. They just require the most water, but if it's raining all the time, you're pretty much good to go. The only, only time you run into a problem with that is like in the summer. All right, almost done and we're done. Let's go and harvest some more cabbages. So fast. So fast. All right. There's all our cabbages. Yeah, a hundred cabbages now. And then we'll get our trowel. So dig. Dig all of these. All right. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. I don't have any nicotine. Smoke. There we go. And it's now stained chili. Oh, wait, no, it's not stained chili. It's just five in the morning. That's why it's cold. All right. Let's go ahead and plant these cabbages and uh, water them a little bit. Windows Chase, Squatro, Cinco. Alright. That is all the cabbages replaced. And then what we need now is to water them. Then he'll get some much needed sleep here. And full. I wonder if you can put the watering cans out in the open. Try that. Yeah, let's throw the watering cans on the ground and see if they fill up with water. We don't need them just right this moment. This is already done. Sleep now. Still fresh, uncooked. Oh, wait, what? A dangerous, uncooked? Oh, I thought I cooked these. Guess I didn't. I swore it said cooked. Hmm. 
Maybe uh, it lied to me. Because it looked like they cooked like super fast. Yeah, look at that. Very well fed off of one thing. So good. Alright. Now you can sleep. Sleeping during the day, just like I've been. Ugh. He's right, wide awake, right when it turns to nighttime. Oh god, we're gonna do one, we're gonna get a level. We're gonna have to read a book again. All right, we got the next farming skill. Let's see, skill book. It's all like that. Okay, so we're looking for farming for the experts. No, it's for, inter not intermediates, it's advanced. Yeah, advanced farming, yay! I do have it. Is it just like the carpentry book that I don't have? Must be. So many books to read! It was slow book reading, it takes forever. We got tons to harvest here too couple look like they're sick these two right here oh I can oh, I can do the overlay now it gives me well watered as well as last time watered raining now so I can check to see if those uh, those watering cans fill up you up a smoke right after he's done reading the book oh should speed time up huh Yes, that'd be nice. Read that book. Or these things rot. there okay smoked now it's time to harvest Tons of cabbages. Got farming skill. Oh no, some of them over here are ready to harvest too. Oh no. good because a lot of these are going to rot I think if I uh, have to read another book let's put these cabbages away 192 cabbages I'm not going to have to worry about food for a little while almost 300 cabbages in there of course they will go bad very soon because cabbages don't last 
Let's see, did these things fill up with water? No, they did not. To really take from these barrels, but I don't think I have enough time for that, so I'm going to just put those away. And I gotta find expert farming. Nice. Got that book too. Eat our food for the day. Our book. Hmm, <laughs> the farm's actually too big. Or my cycles are too big. Because the first one only needed like four. To hurry. I want those to rot. And farming is so fast. Come on, book. Read faster. Gonna have to go get some more birds to make another uh, set of stir fries. He's already hungry again. We're almost not overweight. Almost. 0.22. It's going down a little bit slower because we ate hearty meal today. Still going down pretty fast. Harvest some cabbages again. I know these aren't ready yet, but it means just some sort of sickness hit them. Might as well harvest them if you can. We get two levels with the remaining cabbages because then we just do the whole field and do half potato, half uh, cabbages. One last level. So close. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Very good. All right, how many cabbages are we holding on our person right now? 300. Oh, that was good. Just the right amount of cabbages needed for that. Let's see how many cabbages are they're all starting to go stale now. So many cabbages. Don't need this many, but we need it for the for the skill. 26 packets of cabbages 
All right, it looks like we're just about ending the stream time anyways. I gotta do my, my dinner break. Let me just uh, clean up some stuff here. Maybe go get some more birds. Uh, what was I gonna put in here? I was gonna put the expert farming book away and then I was gonna get the mastery farming. Master farmer. Yes, we got all the books for farming. That's so good. All right. Let's go get some birds. That means I need to get some worms. Only problem is I haven't I didn't go out and check every day, so there could be a lot of traps with nothing in them. Because the, uh, the birds can get away eventually. But we definitely need some food right now. So even if there's nothing there, we just bait them and then get them in the morning. already Right, let's see what we got. We got eight. Eight birds. That'd be a lot. Good amount of stir fry meat. Sad and smoke. frying pans it probably looks like as well as some kabajas too many of them get them out all right let's prepare these birds and we may actually get oh sorry look at the wrong thing kind of close to getting uh cooking four so we're gonna be doing a lot of reading to read that master farming and then maybe uh advanced cooking too all right so let's prepare these meals where are my frying pans are they in my bag they are all right so two bird meats per there's like nothing in there. Right, cabbage. Cabbage. all of our stir fries ready to go I don't know if it's really worth using this uh, this grill at first it seemed like it was really fast but now there we go nice we got cooking skill up as well eat a whole stir fry keep the two for later away and then the cabbage is away all right very cool 
So I get our cooking skill. And then we want advanced cooking. And that, I think, is that for this for today's stream. Thank you so much for joining me, folks. Um, I know we only have two folks here, but I really appreciate you watching. Um, I'm going to be taking some time off on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So the, last, the next time you're going to see me stream is going to be on Sunday. I may do some streaming tonight, but as you can probably see, I'm very tired today. So I might take it easy. Um, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm going to be out. I'll put a posting on my channel in case uh, you guys don't hear this or you don't see it, but uh, you'll see it on the on my channel. But uh, thank you so much. I'll be continuing to play some more Project Zomboid on Monday, which is the... what's the date? It's going to be the 14th. So um, once again, I'll start at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, we'll continue along with uh, Victor Adams and his uh, surviving the wilderness. It's not really wilderness anymore. It's kind of have a nice house and he's cooking food and all that stuff. So it's pretty good. All right, folks, so you'll have a great end of the week. If I all of a sudden wake up, I don't know why I'm falling asleep so much right now. Um, but uh, if I all of a sudden wake up, I might do some more Dead by Daylight tonight. Or if people are up for some multi multiplayer games, we can either play Vermintide or Seven Days to Die. We'll see who's available to play for tonight. All right, folks, if you're interested uh, in playing multiplayer games with us, uh, go ahead and hit up my Discord server. Here is the link right here. And if you want to see some of the videos that I've made in the past, you can take a look at my YouTube channel. All right, folks, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you watching all your comments and stuff like that. So uh, you all have a great end of the week and I'll see you I'll see you on Sunday where I'll play just some ad hoc games and stuff like that. Probably Dead, Dead by Daylight or uh, Vermintide or Seven Days to Die. But thanks again. I'll see you either later today or on Sunday. Have a great one. All right, now I'm just going to bounce my head back and forth, waiting for the delay, and there we go. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.